eggs out here, which I found actually a couple of good articles here. I'm gonna put them in the description box. But yeah, um, so it says, and here Ronald Sanders. So this is from the book Lost Tries and Promised Land, which I got a copy. I wonder if I can. and promised lands by Ronald Sanders, you get me? Mm -hmm. Right. I wonder how much that book is now, anyway. Anyway, you get everything on PDF these days. Um, they told him that they were themselves of the tribe of Reuben and the tribe of Joseph lived on the island nearby. See, even when Esau got over there, we still knew who we were. Esau had to destroy us and break us down, and our people had a lot of written records, and they destroyed that too. All right? Um, even God, God had written records, man, and they destroyed it. They tried to say God never wrote. That's a lie. And that the tribe of Joseph lived on the island nearby. The day when they were at last to issue forth into the world was coming soon, they explained. But in the meantime, they could not allow visitors to cross over to them. They were willing to make an exception in the fu near future, however, on account of their need for education, for they, though they spoke Hebrew, they could not read or write it. Okay, So they were speaking Hebrew and all that, but Esau, the so-called Jew, will ignore all of this evidence. Uh, Volcab Malone will ignore all of this evidence. Okay? You know, and he would just be like, the, the Hebrews weren't black, you know? You're saying this, but you know, they'll ignore all of the historical evidence, you know, because they're not here for the truth. They're liars. The scripture says our enemies shall be found liars. They're about deceit. So anyway, I found two good little articles there. So um, it looked get jam-packed full of some good information. Man. Whoever read them, respect to that. Okay, I'm going to have to send this out there. I know the brother Kazakh. He would love this kind of article, man. That brother goes in and all this information all the time. Um, yeah, man, let's jump back over to this article still. But, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so... Uh, where was we? Right, in 722... I said the song was called Judah, Sim Judah, Simeon, and Moses Benjamin. Really, it was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Simeon went with the other tribes. Even though Simeon um, was um, down there by Judah, they sided with the other tribes. Often it was referred to as simply as Judah. That's where you get the term Jews to represent all the tribes of um, the north, the southern kingdom. This, in 722 BCE, Assyria invaded Israel and the northern kingdom was conquered. Many of the people who lived in the northern kingdom were exiled, mainly to Assyria, Media and Aram Naharim. Archaeological evidence suggests that they were eventually completely assimilated into those societies. Me, see what I mean, man. Goodness gracious, that's not what it says in the scriptures, man. Meanwhile, some alien populations, Kotha, Ava, Hamath, and Safarvaim, were brought in to settle the northern kingdom, and that's where you get the Samaritans, for the most part. And those groups all ended up assimilating with each other and with the Israelites who remained in the north. In 586 BCE, the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar attacked the southern kingdom and exiled, exiled much of the population to Babylon. Though many lost their Israelite identity in Babylon, plenty of them retained their connection to their heritage and eventually returned to Israel and rebuilt the temple in Jerusalem. By that point, the northern kingdom was lost. Today's Jews stem from the people of Judah. No, they don't. See, thus Judaism. No, just because they follow Judaism don't mean they stem from the people of Judah. Okay. That's a lie. They don't. They they have Judaism, okay, which is a perverted version of our, our our doctrine. But that doesn't mean they're of the seed. It says what happened to the lost tribes. Judah Parfit of the University of London School of Oriental and African Studies has studied the lost tribes for years and has written a comprehensive book on the subject called the Lost Tribes of Israel. According to Parfit, the lost tribes all assimilated into the groups around them and eventually disappeared. So, so, so that guy don't. He ain't looking hard enough, you know. He, yes, the you know to some extent the tribes have been assimilated um, throughout the earth, but then 
there's bulks of the tribes in the Americas too. And there's history to show that showing you this guy ain't, ain't studied very well because I've got a couple articles I put in the description box that's full of information. But, you know, these guys, man. Because in the Talmud, oh, the Talmud, Rabu Akiva is quoted as saying, just as a thing, you know, I ain't even gonna read that. Talmud's bullshit, but it shows you these men don't know what they're talking about. Um, Prophet doesn't believe any of these claims, mainly because they all seem to stem from a sense of being different and persecuted rather than from any historical evidence. He argues that though these people may identify as Jews and sometimes even approximate Jewish practices such as observing Shabbat and only eat meat that has been slaughtered in a specific way, their claims are based on legends and not lineage. Well, that, that would apply to the so-called JWO, wouldn't it? Because that's all they talk about is persecution in Germany and Judaism legends that they, they don't have no lineage proof they don't have no proof of their lineage this is a joke thing in some cases when a minority group was persecuted it was called jewish to not to know evil and and they historically blah 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 i don't know about all that anyway however the contemporary jewish community has accepted at least one group claiming to be descendants from the lost tribe the beta israel the jews from ethiopia so look at that okay you got all this evidence um for the ebos I know, but they don't get accepted, but it's a bunch of Ethiopians um, from Ethiopia, Ethiopians, which really were the Samaritans, okay, they get accepted. Do you see how it works? Oh, look here, we accept these lot. What about everyone else? What about all the tribes who claim to trace their lineage to the tribe of Dan? So what about all the other tribes? They ain't looking. They ain't looking. So they got you worshipping this Israeli state and praising it as some restoration. And they're not even look. They're, they're like, well, don't worry about the other tribes. We gon' we gon' just we just gon' carry on without them. It's because these people are not right. They just scattered and nobody can find them, I suppose. <laughs> and then they gonna talk about DNA. DNA can't prove a virus is like that. They don't have the original DNA. Uh, DNA ancestry doesn't work. It's a scam. There's certain things they can do with DNA and there's certain things they can't do with DNA. DNA can't prove whether you're an Israelite or not. It just can't. Because they don't have the original, um, <clears throat> the original, if you had the original um, DNA sample, then you can make that deduction. But because they don't have the samples from the ancient world, they don't. They don't have the intact samples. So they, they, when it comes to tracing your ancestry, there's a lot of information that is lost, so they can't make a, a proper conclusion, which is why it's all based upon um, percentages and based upon DNA um, populations today. So they'll go to a place today and get a DNA sample, and then they'll use that in their deduction. But if you go to Israel today, that's not the original people that was there, so how can that, that even be a proper study? So it's all bullshit anyway. But they'll they'll try and use it, but then ignore all the historical evidence and the biblical evidence. But the point of the matter is, is, is these devils, man. This is what it's gonna be. We know that's what it's gonna be. But unfortunately for them, let's get this. Matthew twenty four. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall de deceive the very elect. But it ain't possible to deceive the elect. The elect are gonna be in the way of truth, because Yahweh Shai is the truth, and they're gonna receive Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai only. So, at the end of the day, the elect are gonna wake up to the fact that the Israelites and be sealed, and most importantly, are gonna be delivered. And there's nothing these Edomites can do about it. Their belief is not required. The only ones whose belief is required is the elect. No one else, that's why the scripture tells you, for what if some did not believe? The you Edomite, we don't need Volker Malone to believe where the Israelites, for their missiles to drop, <laughs> and for the elect to be delivered. It's not necessary. The Mosai is not going to be like, oh, you know what, yeah, I would save these people, but I've got to wait for Volker Malone to admit it. So we're not here to get vocab to admit it. We're not here to get these. We, when we teach and we rebuke these guys, we're not doing it so that they will turn.
turn around and say, oh, you know what, GMS, or you know what, Mr. Israelite, you're right. We're doing it for your benefit, for those who actually can be edified by the information we're bringing up, which is for the elect's sake. We don't do it for their sake, because we know that the enemy is as a deaf adder. And even if they, the penny dropped in their mind, and they understood and actually believed it to be true, you think they'll come out and admit it? Hell no. They'll want to carry on with the lie. Because they are the, when he telleth a lie, he telleth it of himself. No, they're the father of lies. So, uh, with that, I'm, I'm gonna say shalom, and um, I'll put these two articles I found in the in the um, description box. Shalom.